Well, it's been a weekend that many Hawkeye fans dream of here in Iowa City, and the Iowa football team was attempting to go 10-0 for the first time in school history. What an atmosphere it was in Kinnick Stadium, the first night game in school history in November, and an entertaining first half it was. On Iowa's opening drive, they would convert four third downs. LaShawn Daniels caps off a 17-play, 91-yard drive from three yards out, and he would just be getting warmed up. Minnesota responds with a touchdown of their own, but Iowa's offense right back at it. This time, C.J. Beathard keeps it on the bootleg. Iowa up 14-7 early in the second quarter. Minnesota, however, responds once again, tying the game at 14. Iowa's offense, however, keeps things rolling. This time, settling for a 47-yard Marshall Kane field goal. That makes the score 17-14. Ensuing defensive series, Josie Jewell doing what he can to slow down the Minnesota offense. He forces the intentional grounding. That leads to the first Minnesota punt of the day, and Iowa would capitalize. They're in this empty backfield package. And here come the Gophers. They get a rush on CJ. He rolls out to his left, throws downfield, has a man wide open at midfield. Caught and going inside the 40 to the 39 is Henry Krieger Koble. 30 to his left. 31 yards and a first down. Now Bethard in trouble, runs away from trouble again. He's at the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, cuts across field. He's at inside the 20, 15, stiff arms, another defender. 15, 14, 13 yard line and tackled by Eric Murray there. An opportunity to run the football here if they want and they're going to Daniels on a cutback. He reaches for the goal line, he's over. Haven't seen a single yeah, yet, there it is. Touchdown, touchdown Iowa. LaShawn Daniels started a 98 yard drive. He just finished it. That score was Daniels' second of the day. Iowa goes into halftime up 24-14 in the second half. Another field goal by Kane and a touchdown run by Minnesota makes the score 27-21 after the third quarter. The fourth quarter, the offense was still at it. Every time the Gophers would score, the Hawkeyes had an answer. A 29-yard catch and run by Tavon Smith gets Iowa down to the one-yard line. Bethard caps it off once again with his second touchdown of the day. The two-point conversion would be no good. 33 to 21 the score. The Gophers refusing to go away. They come right back for a quick score, trimming Iowa's lead to five. Next offensive series, LaShawn Daniels would put the finishing touches on his career night, turning the lights out on the Gophers. Two tight ends and an eye formation. And the handoff again to Daniels on the cutback. First down, he may go. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Good night, Irene. Touchdown, touchdown, Iowa. The Hawks are going to be 10 and 0 for the first time in the history of the program. And you know they were just they were just running. Uh, you know that's what you expected. And you know we were talking about that on the sideline, that exact play on the sideline. And you know uh, you know the offense line just had to get in our, uh, get the defense cut, and uh, you know they did that. And then the fullback went in there and uh, blasted the linebacker. And, you know then I decided to get up there, uh, cut it up, and make a play on the safety. We needed six yards to win the game. Um, and little did we know, LaShawn is going to break that open and score a touchdown. So, uh, again, that's just all 11 guys doing their job. Yeah, I mean, it feels pretty good, um, but you got to realize you got to take one game at a time um, and, uh, you know, day by day, and you can't uh, think ahead of yourself, and you just got to play the next game. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. It's a, it's a good feeling. It's, it's a tribute to how tough and how hard this team's worked all off season, all season long. We're just continuing to get better, and we got to, uh, you know, continue to improve. And right now we're 10-0, and it's, that's right where we want to be. Um, right now and you know we're moving on to Purdue tomorrow and, and we want to win that one too so we have everything that we wanted in reach and um, just that goal that we still pursuing every every week taking each week by, by week and um, just trying to get to that big goal. 10-0 the first time in school history and a chance to make that 11-0 next weekend on senior day at 11 a.m. in Kinnick Stadium against Purdue and most importantly a chance to clinch the West Division with a win. This is Nick Norman reporting for HawkeyeSports.com.